Okay, I'm just getting ready for this little haul. Getting ready, getting ready. Let's roll our shoulders. Let's do some finger push-ups. Yeah, I'm acting crazy, aren't I? <laughs> hey, what can I say? I'm just trying to make this a little bit fun. You know, I'm just a little silly, a little goofy. It's just the way I am. I'm not a professional here. I'm just a housewife that works. Well, I'm not working right now. I'm off on disability because I had knee replacement surgery. But that's just a different story. Anyways, my name's Lisa, and I'm here for my third Dollar Tree haul. Three, can you see three? Yeah. One, two, three. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> I'm a hoot. Well, maybe not, but I think I'm a hoot. Anyways, um, I'm from Wyoming, Michigan, and um, my name is Lisa. I think I said that already. And I got these stylish little glasses. What do you think of these? I wear contacts um, and I wear regular glasses, but these are kind of fun, huh? A little different. I think they're fun. thought I'd wear them for this little haul because, you know, I've been wearing them without the glasses. And I thought I'd try something new, something different. Well, see, now I don't like saying that because Sarah Woolley has something different, and that's her little tagline. I gotta come up with a tagline, don't I? Hmm. Do 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 I'm kidding. I don't know. I don't have a tagline. What am I gonna come up with? My husband calls this Lisa's Halls. I mean that's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? I'll tell you what. I want you to leave down in the comment box below what I should call this. And then I want you to leave it down in the comment box below, a little tagline. Something catchy. Something fun. You know how Sarah has magical and whimsical and something different? I need a, a catchphrase. I'm just not good with that kind of thing. I'm not, and not that I want to copy after Sarah because I think she's a one of a kind and I don't want to do that. Because I, I need her to keep me in check as far as my happy place. I watch her when I'm in a pissed off, in a bad mood. I watch her. She makes me in a good mood, so I'm good to go. I, I need that. So we're not going to mess with her. I don't want to copy her. No, 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 no. Um, I don't even want to become that big. I don't have time to become that big. I wish her nothing but the best. I hope this takes off something huge because I think the girl deserves it. There, I said it again, and I'll say it again and again and again and again because I believe in her. I believe that she's got the, the gusto to go the long mile. So, there you go. I believe her husband's got the gusto to go the long mile, too. I think he believes in her just as much, if not more, than any, any of us. So, there you go. I don't know why I'm on a soapbox for them. I just am. I appreciate people like that. You know? And I appreciate the coupons to go or... Oh, I just screwed that up, see? I learned her name today. I think it was. No, I'm not even gonna. No, I'm not even gonna say it. I just know it starts with a P. I'll screw it up. You know what I'm gonna start doing? I'm gonna start writing this down. Because there's so many friends out there that I know that are, I watch their YouTube channels and I forget to write down their names. And shame on me. Anyways, let's get into this haul. I went this morning. My husband's gonna shoot me. Oh well. Oh well. It's just oh well. That's all it is. It's oh well. He'll just have to shoot me. I didn't spend that much, but how am I supposed to make um, Dollar Tree hauls if I can't go to the Dollar Tree store? Right? I mean, are you with me? I mean, for real. I have to go to the Dollar Tree store in order to make Dollar Tree hauls. Because once I go back to work, I won't be able to make these as often. So I've made three this week. When I go back to work, I'm only going to probably be able to make one a week. It's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That is the way the batter bats. So, here we go. And like I told you before, I don't like taking stuff out of bags. To me, 
I don't like the noise. Sorry I said it. So I put mine in a basket. So I don't have an order. I'm just gonna start off with I guess I'll start off with the the food. I got these rocks. I already opened them, see? I wanted to try it. The sea salt caramel royals, they're very good. And it's a big bag for a buck. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. Put in your little, you know, stash someplace or a candy dish or whatever. Definitely worth the buck. I give it an A plus. Then this is going in my little friend's package that I'm sending her down yonder, way down yonder, where it's nice and warm, not mentioning any names. I'm sending this down someplace nice, sunny, sunny, and warm. Anyways, I got the caramel apple royals, the caramels, and same size package, definitely worth the buck. I wish I could open it and try it, but I don't like to do that. So my friend, when you get this and you try these, I want you to tell me what you think of them. Has anybody else tried these? Let me know. Give me, leave me a comment. Let's see. Oh, I got these because I need the protein. Because as I said before, I've had gastric bypass. I lost 140 pounds. I still have another 80 to lose. But I need the iron, I need the protein, and um, this is not really a great deal, but for a buck for now, I'll just deal with it. It's the cream of wheat, it's three packages. You know, I guess, I mean, it is probably a, an okay deal. It is what it is. Got that. Okay, now, I told you my favorite color is green. Told you my husband doesn't want me to buy any baskets. Yes, I bought some baskets, but I'll get to that in a minute. He also said I couldn't buy any coffee cups because I got a million of them. So, my thought process is I wanted a green coffee mug. So, I'm going to exchange a coffee mug that I have in their cover for a green coffee mug. Ta da! I bought one. Ha ha! Mike, I bought one. Mike's my husband. He's going to see this because he has to edit it. Bought a green coffee mug because green's my favorite color. And I bought one. And you know, they're durable. It's you know, for a buck, you can't beat this. It's a good coffee mug, you know. Then I bought a um I'm sorry, I get an itchy nose when I do this show. I don't know why. Show. Did you hear me? Show. Like I'm something else. Dollar Tree Hall. Bought a new thing for my violet, my African violet, so Guess what color it is? It's green. There you go. <sighs> well, that Sarah Woolley got me on the old bird kick. Doggone her. Like, I need something else to dust in my house for real. But it's so cute. And guess what color it is? It's green. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. He's a fat boy. I don't even know what kind of bird this is. It'll go by my owls, I guess. Another thing to dust. Dot, dot, dot. Another thing to dust. Yep, I said it. Oh well. Okay, I picked up some of these um, quick erasers. I've used the other ones, the um, Mr. Clean, so I'm hoping these will not fail because I've got some mark, marks from my cane that I've had to use from, you know, on the wall, so hopefully this will take care of that. And then I was watching some hauls and I seen that they had the Glade Pure Vanilla Joy. So I thought I would give that a little whirl. Because I, I like to make sure my house smells good. I'm kind of a freak about that. And then I've been using Mike's shaving cream. I know he doesn't really appreciate that when I use it. So I went and got my own sensitive skin shaving cream. 
Haven't been able to sh shave my right leg for six weeks. <gasps> I know, freak out, but I had my knee operated on. They wouldn't want me to shave it, so I got sensitive care. Hopefully this will last me probably, this will probably last me through the summer. And then I heard Sarah Woolley, something different, talk about using baby shampoo for her makeup brushes. Because I too, I too have sensitive skin. So I went and picked up some Baby Magic, just a little bottle. I figured this could last a long time and um, I wanted to try it before I went and got the big bottle. So I'm going to try that for my makeup brushes. And then I went, I was getting a little nervous, a little scared because I couldn't find these and I wanted to get these for backup because I do like this product. I've been using it and I noticed a difference in my skin and that's the White Rain products. The makeup remover works really well and then I followed up with the gentle facial scrub and it works fabulous on my skin so just so you know. Doesn't, I mean, it looks, it's nice to look at, but it really works. Okay, what else do we got here? Okay, um, some fun stuff I got. I don't know her name. She's new. I don't know if she's new, but new to me. Um, I got these head wraps. Um, you can do them. I think it tells you how to, it's a multi-purpose bandana. You can do lots of different things with it. So I figured I can do some fun stuff with it. Got my little, my favorite kind right here. So I bought two of those for me. And then I told you I'm making this package up to send down in sunny weather from a person who has to sit underneath hot lights. And I thought this might cool her off because I thought this is just a beautiful looking fan because the fans are out and they're beautiful. Personally in the summertime, call me old fashioned old school, I like these fans in church because I go to church with old people and you can't have the AC on because they freeze. What they don't understand is old people can put clothes on, us younger people, and yes I just categorize myself as younger people, we can't take clothes off because what would happen? they'd freak out so I wish they would just understand put some more clothes on and turn the AC up but no we can't do that so I say go old school and get a fan but I bought a fan from a girl in the sunny weather and then my girl sings I saw this and I said I gotta get it for her because <laughs> I know she'd get a kick out of it. It's bubbles. It's a microphone. She can sing her little heart out. I'm singing in the rain. Yeah, I just said it. There you go. Microphone. Bubbles. Have fun. Oh, let's see. Oh, and then I was watching Sarah Woolley, and she had these on yesterday, and I bought one because I figured I could use this in my uh, scrapbooking. It's the stencils, so I'll figure out how to use this. I'll let you know how it works. We'll see how it goes. And then of course I got um, some eyeshadow, the Wet n Wild eyeshadow, the Beauty Benefits. Haven't seen any of that there and I grabbed it because I like Wet n Wild products. And I got me some um, emery boards because for some reason my emery boards are just disappearing around here. I don't know where it's going. And then with summer coming <clears throat> on the my patio deck, I got these coasters, these lime coasters. Aren't they cute? To put on my uh, table outside. So they're cute. Fun, something fun. Let's see. Okay, now we're getting into something of the, a little bit of the fun stuff that I got. I got this from a girl that I'm sending this package to. These are six stencils. Thought she'd have fun with that for her uh, journal or her planner or whatever. So she might have fun with that. Then I got these puffy stickers, the alphabet. It's got the lowercase and the 
um, uppercase. And then these are just, oh, these are the lowercase and the uppercase. This is like the animal print. And then I got this from a girl because I have a feeling she liked that My Little Pony thing when she was a girl. Because she's my daughter's age. And my daughter liked My Little Pony. So I got her My Little Pony. It says, great for letters, cards, envelopes, notebooks, lockers, scrapbooks, and much more. And it has 14 of them in here. So have fun with that. Okay, let's see what else do we got here. Let me get to the other stuff here real quick. I don't want to make this haul too long. Oh, we're already at 16 minutes. My goodness. I can run my mouth off, people. Do you know that? I can run it with the best of them. I can tell some dirty jokes. I hear a dirty, dirty joke. Great joke. Dirty joke. Ready? Big fell in the mud. <laughs> That's about the extent of my jokes. I'm not a great joke teller. I wish I was, but I'm not. Okay, so I bought some more baskets. Shh, don't tell my husband. Bought these for our cupboards. I'm going to redo our cupboards today so that before he gets home from work, he's not going to see these bas baskets and he's going to go, Oh, look at that. Our cupboards are all looking great. Thank you. I just organized them. So quit. Okay, <clears throat> last but not least, I got on the old tape wagon. I figured I'm wrapping some packages. I might as well wrap them in this tape. There you go. I got some. I wasn't going to do it, but I figured, what the heck, hey, I need some tape, might as well get some. And then, you know, i got to tell you a little something about this wrapping paper and bags and tissue paper. Everybody's fools if they don't go to the Dollar Tree to get their stuff because it's a buck. I mean, look at this. Eight sheets and something pretty, you know. I mean, come on now. Go to the Dollar Tree. It's a buck. You know, and then I got um, 250, no, 240 Polaroid blank labels, mailing labels, um, to make some mailing labels for myself to send packages off. And then I got this big monster white envelope to send my package off that I'm sending to a person. Down, 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 where it's nice and sunny and warm. I'm super jealous because I'd like to be sitting on a, oh, I don't know, an inner tube, a donut inner tube or something in the middle of a pool. Might have had a duck in the pool. Could possibly have had a duck in the pool. She didn't get the duck out, though. Had to call her husband. It was almost a sad day, but husband was a duck whisperer and got him out. Thank God. Anyways, so that is my Dollar Tree haul, my third one. Thank you very much for watching. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing you people. Well, I'm not really seeing you, but, you know, I like to pretend you're out there, you know, out there, here. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and uh, try to relax and do something fun call an old friend, write a letter, snail mail, do it, write a letter, people, people get back into that, I just don't understand why we're not doing that anymore, we think that we can email, and it's kind of sad, it's the lost art, I love getting mail and all that stuff, it's so much fun, anyways, God bless, and we'll talk to you all soon, take care.